Hi everyone, this video is my May completed pages. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you all watching my videos and your kind comments. So last year, I didn't really get to participate in Mermaid. That is where you color mermaids in May. Um, so I ended up coloring mermaids in June, but this year wasn't quite as hectic, so I was really excited to color lots of mermaids. Erica from Elm Colors has a great coloring tag for this, where she suggests different color schemes for each week of the month. I was a little off timing for some, but it was a lot of fun, um, and I'll leave her Instagram link down in the description. Okay, well, first one is a whip and not a mermaid at all. Uh, I hate leaving unfinished pages, so you won't see a lot of whips from me, um, but these types of pages always take so long. So, and if you haven't seen um, any videos of mine with Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I am coloring this um, from start to finish. So this is the page that I'm on. And yeah, so yeah, these pages are just a little daunting. <laughs> and um, so I figured this is going to be a whip. So I, I, I didn't I, I got through quite a bit, like more than I thought I would. I thought I would just do the wall, but then I ended up like doing some of the furniture. So I used some water-based markers, really light kind of muted tones, um, and trying to create a more soft background here. Um, and then the same with the furniture. I didn't want it too crazy because I figured all these little things will be very distracting and you know more colorful so so yeah lots of like neutrals and grays right, and then this is from ivy and the inky butterfly johanna bassford i don't think i mentioned that before but. all right so that is my whip that i worked on Okay, so my first mermaid mermaid is going to be from Mandolin by Maria Trolley. And I did this one. So uh, this was the week of jewel tones. Yeah, I really I love the way her hair turned out. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, so she's got these this really pretty kind of magenta color hair and then like an emerald dress, some gold. Uh, I use, oh, this is the color palette I try to stick to in this book. Um, just kind of mixing and matching different colors here. So it's a combination of Prismacolors, Polychromos, Black Widows, um, and... I think that might be a there might be a Faber Castell in there too, but yeah. So and then I have some stickles and some glitter accents, some gold uh, metallic watercolor for like the crown. And I don't know if you can see, I was trying to create like this like water reflection on her skin and it wasn't working out. It looked like she had like blue bruises all over. So I kind of erased and tried to go over it. So it's subtle, but yeah, I don't know if that, how that looks on camera. But anyway, there is that page. Okay, next one is going to be from Lost Ocean. This is also a Johanna Basford book. This was my first Johanna Basford book, and I did this mermaid. Now, one of the color schemes was rainbow, and it's not really what I was going for, but this could work for a rainbow theme. Um, I don't have red, but there is this that pink that could take on um, red. So, but yeah, I kind of, I like this one. It looks, um, I don't know. I just like the, the color palette kind of art nouveau, I guess. But yeah, I, I wasn't sure what color I wanted to do the hair, but I like the blue cause it reminds me of like just the, the ripples in the water. 
And this one was done with fine liners, water-based fine liners. All right, there's that. All right, next one is going to be A Million Magical Creatures. This is um, by Lulu Mayo. And I was inspired by another colorist on Instagram that I saw this page. Um, I really like the way they did this effect with the um, kind of sky or like shadow effect underneath the wave. And then I also really liked how, like I was originally gonna do this as like an orange or lemon anyway, but I really like how they carried the yellow down into the glass too, so. Um, I was inspired by them. I'll put their name down in the description. Um, so these were all done by Whole Wine Pastel, the Pastel Set color pencils. Um, some Winkastella in the water and some Stickles in the little unicorns and bubbles. Hopefully that's picking up all the glitter for you. Okay, there's that one. And next is Yippee Kawaii Mandala Magic Volume 2 by Danny Banani of Unusual Suspects. And I found this mermaid page. It is called All Tales, No Fails. So you have these cute little kawaii animals in mermaid tales. And this, um, I was sent some markers by Coloria. And I do have a video on this kind of a review and using these markers on this page. So yeah, alcohol markers, dual tip, uh, they blend really nicely. Um, granted, they're small areas, but still, they I thought they, they blended really nice. So great colors. This um, is the pastel set. So I thought it would be perfect for mermaid theme. No glitter or anything on this, but yeah, I was just really wanting to try out blending. And yeah, look how cute those little animals are. <laughs> okay, next page is going to be from Disney Mandalas by Hatchet Heroes. And I've done quite a bit in this book. So yeah, I just had to do the Little Mermaid for this one. All your typical colors for Little Mermaid and Ariel. Um, alcohol markers I did for the background. I was gonna go back in with color pencils like on top of some of these uneven lines, but then I decided not to. So yeah, it's just alcohol markers. Um, I did do some gold watercolor metallic paint um, for these little seahorses. So you can't see the full ring, but it makes like a ring here. Um, and then I have some glitter paint pens on her swim top there and then in the tail. Oh, and I think I put some in her hair too. Let's see if I can get that to pick up. Maybe a little bit. All right, but yeah, I like the way that one turned out. Bright colors. All right, next one is Rising by Carolina Kubikowska. And so I'm also doing a tag through Jamie's Coloring Love. And she is doing Coloring the Movies 2024, and it's been a really fun tag. So every month she puts up a, a color palette that has to do with a movie that she's picked. And this um, color palette was from The Princess Bride, and I'll put that picture up here. Um, so I was having a hard time finding a mermaid, like, you know, theme to do, to do that color palette, so, 
but then I, when I saw this book, I was like, oh, this is, you know, those color palettes would look really good on this, in this book. And maybe because, like, it's, like, on the cover here. <laughs> but, yeah, so I found this page. It's a girl's head in water. So, you know, it could be a mermaid. Um, but, yeah, this I used my Roman Schmalz watercolor paint. And, yeah, I just, I really love the way this turned out. Um, have some more gold metallic um, watercolor paint here too for all those little specks. The butterfly or moth turned out really pretty with the gold in there. But yeah, so I thought the color palette worked really well for this page. And this paper is single sided. Um, this, I feel like it's not as thick as some of her other books, but it, it is nice because it's single sided. And um, I can use quite a bit of water on here. You know, you just have to let things dry and then kind of come back to it. But yeah, really amazing illustrations in here. All right, so that is rising. Okay, next is from Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Klett. Of course, there was many to choose from, but I chose this one. And I really wanted like a different color palette than just blue water and green plants. Uh, so I was kind of looking on Pinterest for some different mermaid pictures and I found this picture and that inspired me to do like kind of this water reflection. And I used my um, like honeycomb stencil and I just traced with pencil and then went over it with like a white Posca and then I even went over some of it with alcohol markers so it wasn't so stark white but yeah put a little up here and then even down here on the bottom but yeah I think the color palette is really pretty uh, I really wanted the tub to stand out so I left that pretty white um, there is a lot of stickles and glitter in those bubbles but yeah all this is alcohol marker except for the background that is um oil pastels and then obviously the white posca and like glitter pens But yeah, these are such fun, fun illustrations in here. It was hard to choose one for this month. All right, and then let's see. My last one is Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures by Camilla D'Erico. And this one, I like to do very monochromatic color schemes in this like I have one let's see one I did several years ago this one so um, but this year I did this page and this was um, on elm colors this was for the like monochromatic color scheme now it is kind of more green and blue than I originally thought. I was gonna try to keep it all more of a teal color, um, but I really wanted to separate like the tail end from her body and hair. So I just added a little bit more green and yellow in here. So but yeah, I did a whole wash of watercolor, just that kind of blues and teals. Um, and then once that dried, I went in with color pencil and um, Prismacolor pencils and just did a lot of the shading. Um, this kind of shimmery stuff are Crayola Pearl Sticks. Uh, the white really stands out, but there are, I did use like the green and yellow too, but yeah, I really wanted that like reflection. And there's also some stickles for her, but yeah, I think, I think she turned out really pretty. It's very calming and soothing which is good because you know she's sleeping so I wanted that that calming look oh here's another one monochromatic but yeah it's 
I don't know, I feel like these pages, some of them, some of them just really do well with the monochromatic color schemes. All right, so that is it for this month. I'm looking forward to coloring more kind of summer themes in the next few months. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.